Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of electrical circuits to explore the concept of resistance in series and parallel connections. Have you ever wondered why overall resistance is high when in series but less in parallel? In series, resistors work together to increase resistance while in parallel, they offer alternative pathways to decrease resistance. To understand this concept better, imagine you are on a wide highway, the cars representing electrons all moving smoothly towards their destination. But what happens when these cars encounter resistance? Let's explore this concept using the idea of checkpoint on our highway. Think of this checkpoint as a resistor in an electrical circuit. It's narrow, so car must slow down, causing a buildup. In electrical terms, this resistance slows down the flow of electrons, which is the current. Now let's see what happens when we add more checkpoints like this one, but in series. Here each checkpoint adds to the delay. Car slows down at the first and even more at the second. In our electrical analogy, each resistor in series adds to the total resistance, making it harder for the electrical current to flow through the circuit. On the other hand, what if we arrange our checkpoints differently? Let's place them parallel to each other, each one on a separate lane. Now car have options. Some go through the first checkpoint, others through the second. Similarly, you can add third and fourth. The overall flow of traffic is smoother and quicker. Similarly, when resistors are connected in parallel, the total resistance decreases. The electrical current has multiple paths to travel through, reducing the overall resistance and allowing more current to flow through the circuit. So just like our road, we are adding more lanes with checkpoints in parallel helps keep traffic moving, adding resistors in parallel provides multiple paths for the electrons, making it easier for the electrical current to flow. Conversely, stacking up checkpoints in series on a single lane makes it progressively harder for traffic to move, just as stacking resistors in series increasing the resistance. Understanding the flow of electrons in circuits is not so different from watching cars navigate roads. Whether it's car or currents, finding the best path matters. And just like our roads, the structure of electrical circuits plays a crucial role in determining how easily the current flows. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.